So today I want to share with you a practice that I usually do for full moon or new moon practices. Uh, this is a moon salutation routine and you can do this at home. So carve some time for yourself, do this routine and also take some time to do a breathing meditation and then grab a pen and paper and write down everything that you want to let go now that we're coming up to full moon. So you are ready for September. And you don't need much time, maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes where you let everybody know that you need some time for yourself. Okay, let's get started. To come to the top of your mat, I will start on the left side and I will travel to the right side. And you keep going from one side to the other along the long side of the mat. Okay, so I'm on my left side of the mat. Take a deep breath in, bring the arms up and above the head, interlace the fingers, side bend, breathe out, breathe in, back to center, breathe out, come back to center and take a big step to the right side for temple pose, so your heels come in, toes pointing to the side and you can bend the elbows here or open hands or with mudra. Warrior two towards the right side. So just pivot the left foot and point your toes towards the right, the right end of your mat. Extend your arms. Breathe in. Breathe out. Extend, extended side angle. So you can stay here, hand towards the floor, or you can bring your forearm to your thigh. Good. Look down towards your foot. Bring the hands down. Frame the foot and bring the left knee to the floor. Low lunge. Relax the head and neck. Good. Side squat. From here, come into your side squat. If you can bring your heel to the mat, if you don't, that's fine either. You can lift the knee or use something like a block or a blanket underneath. You can bring your palms together to your heart center. And then we're going to travel to the left side of the mat. Side squat. And then again to low lunge. This time you have your left foot forward. Release the top of the foot to the mat, the back foot. And relax your hips as much as you can. Side angle. Again, the front knee is bent. Open the chest twist. Come up, lift the torso to warrior two. Temple pose. And we're going to finish on the right side. Take a deep breath in, arms up, side bend. Breathe in, breathe out. Side bend to the other side and take a big step. As you come back to center, take a big step towards the left temple pose. So we'll do again the same, this time we're traveling towards the left side. Warrior two, looking towards your left side, left hand. Extended side angle. Good, low lunge. Side squat on the left side. Move to the right. Low lunge. Side angle. Lift the torso up to warrior two. Temple pose, bring the heels, heels in, knees to the side. Then we're going to finish this time on the left side. Take a big step. Take a deep breath in, arms up. Breathe out, hands together to your heart center. Mountain pose. Namaste. So usually I do this practice in my full moon and new moon events. I usually add a few more postures to the routine, but these few postures are beautifully connected together to give you a practice that you will find healing and so rewarding. So I am super curious about your experience. Let me know in the comments how was your practice and also how was your full moon ritual.